Hello, I'm Stockton Rush, and I was the pilot today on a dive to look at uh, trawl sites uh, off of Friday Harbor. Uh, this is Cyclops One. Um, I'll just take you around and tell you a little bit about what's what you see on the exterior here. Um, a huge uh, three and a quarter inch thick acrylic uh, dome. Uh, we have uh, this post here that's to stop us from banging into things. And on the end of it is a telltale. It's a little uh, squid weight. And when it's neutral, we know whether we're going, you can tell whether we're going up, down, and where the current is. Uh, Cyclops is sitting on its platform, which is you know integral part of the sub. Um, we have uh, these lights. They are 20,000 uh, lumen LED lights, one on each side. Uh, the sub is in its uh, locking system here. It comes in and lands in this tub, we call it, and you drive forward until it bumps. In the back, it goes down and you drive backwards until it bumps. And then it's locked in as it is here, and then they can lift the entire platform. Uh, we have on the, on the side here, we have our horizontal thrusters and our vertical thrusters. Um, we have uh, these components here are propane tanks that we fill with compressed air, and we use that for both uh, pushing the water out when we need to bring the sub up. Uh, they also provide a, an increase in the center of buoyancy so that it keeps the whole platform stable. Uh, so uh, uh, here we have, uh, that's a VHF antenna for surface communications. We have our sonar system with two uh, lasers that we use for size measurements. We're going to get our feet wet in a second here. And then next to that is an acoustic transmission modem uh, that we can get some uh, data out of. We use this uh, game controller to drive the sub. First thing is there are two dead man switches. You have to press one of these buttons and now it's ready to go. And then if you want to go forward you do this. If you want to go back, you do this. This is left. This is turn right. This is go down. This is go up. It's that See? simple. So today's dive mission starts like a lot of them. It's the, it's the day before. There's a lot of planning related to uh, determining the location, the currents, uh, the preparation of the sub, pre-dive inspe inspections on the stub. Then we tow it out to the location. And in this case, we had our four researchers um, on board for the one hour tow to the site. Um, we then uh, were, the whole platform sunk underwater, sits 20 feet underwater, suspended lightly on some buoys. And then the sub took off and went to the seafloor. And we landed at about 60 meters, 180 feet or so, and started to head out to look and see if there was evidence of areas where they have trawled to pick up scientific samples over the years and also to see what marine life was down there. That was awesome, and we basically saw all the diversity we can find here. Like everything, every cartilaginous fish from the dogfish <coughs> to the skate, to the chimeras. Uh, for the bunny fish, we saw poacher, scorpions, uh, grinlings. Yeah, all those fish were here. Ursin, sea stars, like definitely, this is a really good ecological place. So everything is covered by a muddy, shelly bottom of clams and scallop, and that's it. And then it's life or, uh, everywhere. Yeah. It was great. Like he said, all the diversity was amazing down there. Um, we truly maybe didn't go like five minutes without seeing a fish, and the bottom was covered in invertebrates. It was, it was really awesome, it was so impressive, it was fascinating, it was, uh, yeah, I can't even get my head around it. I was so thrilled by everything we saw around us, uh, how close we could get. And we motored out until we got down to about 120 meters, so 370 or so feet, um, way beyond anything a diver could do. And then we came back again to try to find this, if there was any evidence of the trawling, which they ex suspected there wasn't. It's very light trawling. It's not like commercial trawling. And then when we got back, we came to the surface. And we get to the surface and acquire, the, you know, on the surface, we're able to see the platform. And we motored over to the platform, and then we land in the tubs. And it settles into the, the tracks, and you drive forward till you get a bump, and you drive back till you get a bump. And then we signal the surface on our underwater telephone to bring us up and they blow the tanks, and in about two minutes, we're back on the surface. It's like you've been on another planet, and then all of a sudden, you know, you spend four hours on this completely alien world, and then you open the hatch, and you're back on planet Earth. And uh, it is, it's something you never forget, and even after doing it a lot, it's, it's a really unusual feeling to, to come back to planet Earth.